Welcome back, everybody. So I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup around the area. I realized I've got a lot of stuff I need to build. So I think I need to kind of go through here and line things up. And I'm trying to make, uh, like not a promise or a commitment maybe. I'm trying to hold off on using a lot of these new tuft bricks and stuff because like oh new bricks everything's got to have them but I want to kind of keep with the existing you know architecture style I put in here and tuft didn't exist so you know I need to keep a lot of the colors in place and be very sparing with the use you know something like this you know, it kind of puts a different color in there, but it's not, you know, blatant, all tuft building, you know. I kind of pushed it over here, you know, when I put the towers in there, I put, you know, the tuft bottom. I think I can get away just a little bit of touch on that one. Because I want to incorporate them. I've got all this area that I need to build in. So I need to figure out how all that works. You know, if I had the tuft, I probably would have put it in that building or maybe even the cathedral, but we're past at that point. So I guess this here is going to be like a walkway. Just I'm just trying to lay things out. You know, and this is going to be stairs. Let's see, would the stairs go up that far? I think. Where's my pick? So like here, you got the stairs going up that way. Yeah, maybe it's something like this. I've been trying to get different colors and different types of bricks and everything. I'm mainly trying to get this done because it's a pain to uh, run up and down the stairs here. So let's go through, let's go through and try to take a look at how everything is set up. I think I need a new building here for some reason, you know, some kind of building. Maybe I'll push the road. Let's just kind of do this for markers. We'll just push a road through this way. Yeah, so this can all be road through here. No need to put any stores or anything. It's all road. And a big, nice big high road through here. I did notice there's no way down except for either end. So this is road and the road will go off into that way. So this, this level is almost just road. Unless at some point I want to dig into the wall. And then here, this whole area here, I think it's going to be like uh, stores and stuff. Kind of a, a shopping district. So let's kind of start over here. Do I have any... Is there a crafting table around here? I guess it's over there. Let's do this. Okay, got plenty of signs. So now I can label everything. And I think I'm just going to try and lay things out here. So this is going to be a road through here. So not too much to do with here. So I already need something going down there. So over in this corner, let's put a... Uh, like a food warehouse. So a food warehouse is going to go here. And then maybe some more fields and stuff around it. But that's basically to store store all this hay or wheat that I'm not collecting right now. 
because I've only been collecting as I need it. But I can go through here and collect a bunch of wheat. I can put in a storage for my hay, my bales, uh, my seeds. Maybe we could even play with that auto crafter to auto craft uh, hay bales out of wheat. So we have our road going through here. I'm gonna leave a light, you know, kind of open space through here. I'll put some trees and stuff just to give me some elbow room. I think some we'll have some stalls here. So maybe like here will be a maybe like a butcher. What is that? It's not butcher. Butcher. Maybe over here we'll have a potion salesman. Uh, clothing maybe. I'm thinking just almost like little stalls through here. Uh, so if the road goes this way, it makes kind of sense to have it go through here. Oh, here, this would be, uh, how do you spell that? Wharf? Oops, that's not wharf. Wharf, uh, master house. I don't know if that's a proper name, but uh, like a house or something here for the harp. I guess Harbor Master would be there. And the road will go around it somehow. And I guess I could even do, you know, like a little path this way. So maybe like uh, here, do a fish market. You know, I can do a uh, coffee, coffee, cough, coffee, you know, coffee shop, fish market, coffee shop. Oh, um. Look over. Let's see. What else could I put in here? Maybe a boat shop. Because, you know, some people are going to want boats or near the river. So. So that's kind of how that's going to lay out. We'll have, I don't think we're little buildings. I'm thinking more stalls with roofs and stuff on them. Let's see, let me think of something else through here. Yeah, I think maybe here will be, I think we have a new stand up top there, but we probably need another one down here. So I think, yeah, I don't know if that'll all fit in there. I may have to squeeze some of it out here. The, the layout's really gonna change. I'm just kind of putting like little, these are like post-it notes, putting little post-it notes out here to remind me to build or what to build. And I also have a list of, I uh, put together of different shops and stuff. So I'm trying to figure out how to fit all these in to this place. But this is all going to be not industrial, uh, shopping district kind of, like I said. So if we put them all through here, I think that would look out pretty good. And then we'll have the road going through there. And I may add in some stairs here and there. Because it almost makes sense to have like a set of stairs. Well, that doesn't make any sense. But maybe, you know, set of stairs here going up. Yeah, that way... You don't have to go all the way over there. You can come over here and get down. And it's kind of a natural progression. It takes you right to the harbor and takes you right to all the shops over there. So I think that would be... That would be good. Well, now I've got some layout done on here. Let's go, uh, let's go put a barn together. Let's see, I've got some 
There you go. We are trying to do a mixture of bricks. Some of these, these big, thick, heavy, tough bricks. Because I can't resist using the new blocks. I can't resist using the new blocks. You've got to use them if you have them. So. And as someone who builds a lot, you always want new blocks. And some people go for, oh, look for trial chambers and archaeology and all this kind of stuff. And we have that. But for me, it's like blocks, blocks, blocks. I need blocks. And the day they put in vertical slabs will be my happiest day. I doubt that is ever going to happen. They seem to be, I don't know if it's on principle or they just love trolling. I think their idea is that we're just, they're just not going to put them in because people want them. And we've been asking for so many years. And they come up with all these phony baloney excuses like, oh, it's too technically impossible. So yeah, you can put all this other crap in here, but you can't get vertical blocks. Two, three, four. You know, I see, I'm not going to say, oh, modders can do it, but they can. I mean, it's tougher to put it in. I don't know if maybe the having to, uh, I mean, now maybe the excuse is since they have to, you know, code for every single, you know, Java and uh, Bedrock at the same time, you've got to, like, Maybe water down some of it so you can't do, you can only do what, like, you can only do what, like, consoles can support. You can't do what PCs can support type of thing. I've seen it in other, other games. Anyhow, yeah, I'll stop, I'll stop complaining. At least for now, it's not permanently. I'm not permanently going to stop complaining. I'll stop complaining for the moment. How's that? Actually, this floor looks better than I thought of it. I kind of like it with the, with the little mixing. There's not just such a flat, boring looking uh, type, uh, floor. This. Oh, come on. You probably can't hear my fan going, but it is like 95 degrees out today. Holy cow. I mean, in the game, it's raining, so you would think, oh, it would be nice and cool. But it's not even coming over into real life, because it is, it is hot. And I don't like it. Okay, I'm going to fill all of this in to start with, and then I'm going to go back and cut out my windows and stuff, because I'm not quite sure where my windows need to go. I think this would be as high as I need to go here. Yeah. Oh, am I out? Well, I'm not going to make any more yet until I figure out my windows. So I think this would be the first floor. The roof is going to peak, so there'll be a, a loft in here. So for one, I think I'm going to do like one here. Let's do a two high. I think two high windows would be good. And this will give me enough blocks to finish my walls. And then maybe here, let's go. One, one, two, one, two. Whoops, that's not right. Two. There. Two, 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 yeah. Then we're going to. I like these bamboo. Uh, 
trap doors. Has a nice little screen in them. There, there, there. So should I make this go all the way through or not? Um, no, it's a storage area, so it doesn't need to go all the way through. I will put this. There. I will put some windows back here. I think we'll do it like that. Oh good, it's getting dark. I can sleep and get rid of this rain. Oh, holy cow. It's driving me nuts. And I tried to sleep before, but it wouldn't let me. Let's see, do I have a bed? Did I put a bed in here? No, I didn't. Which kind of makes sense. You don't want people sleeping on the job. Uh, at least on this job. Oh! Cow. Oh! That was loud. Loud. Okay, let's go. We're going to go in this little piggy house and get some sleep. So I think let's do a roof here. Let's go out two. And we'll put that heavy tuft block right there. Oop. Come on. There. So it'll be that side. And oh. Ah, keep putting the wrong block. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be the roof. I'll peek up there. I may need to make some more tuft brick. Well, actually, I definitely will need to make some more tuft brick. Because I've got to do this. Uh, let's see, do I have, I've got bricks, can I do, well that makes me 15, I don't think that's going to be enough to get me by, so I'll have to go find some more of those, I think I've got them way over there, yeah, in that chest over there. This. Here, I think that's halfway. Oh, come on, up. Yeah. And then I'll just continue with my roof here. Monsters nearby. Like a spider, maybe? Hold it. That is not right. Oh, I have no weapon either. Oh, well, I guess my axe. I've got plenty of armor. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Okay, buddy. Where are you at? There he is. Come over here. Oh! Well, there's a whole, a whole bunch of them. You made me cut my tree down. Holy cow. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. There's another one over there. Where's 
Now I'm going to have to fix this. Dang it. Um, new recipes. wonder what that's all about. Okay. Do I have any? I don't have any oak trees, do I? No, I don't have any oak. Okay, I'm going to have to find some oak. I'm going to go over there and get rid of those guys. What the heck? They must have spawned as soon as I went in. I went in there to go to, go to bed because it was getting dark. So they must have spawned right then. Where are you at? There you are. Will this give me... Oh, good. Okay. Whew. Yeah, there's a new mechanic. You don't get the bad omen immediately. You get this bottle of bad omen. So you can get... So once you drink it, then you get bad omen for what must be an hour and a half or hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, so you drink that. And that'll give you bad omen. That way you can control your raids. Which I'm not sure if that's good or bad. It's different. But I guess it actually it, it actually is very helpful. Because normally I would have... Uh, I would have had to... I would have got that guy and got the bad omen. Then if this was considered a village, which it might be. Because I've got beds and village... Well, I don't have villagers over here, so... But that would, uh, that makes it kind of a pain because you, you get these guys showing up in the middle of your village, you defeat them, and then you end up having a raid that you've got to go fighting through, which is not very fun. I mean, the raids are fun themselves, but not when you don't want them. When you got better things to do than fight wave after wave of monsters, at least this, I can control it so I can drink it to induce a raid, I guess, or I don't know if it's inducing the raid or just giving you the bad omen so you can uh, go into a village and get the raid, get the raid going. But anyhow, it gives you a little more control over how that works. But I, like I said, it could be good, could be bad. I'm not sure myself off the top. You know, just I haven't really th considered if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I kind of like the randomness of the way it was before. And since I was just complaining about vertical slabs, they won't give you vertical slabs, but they'll change up game mechanics like that so it's more gamey or, you, or more manip you can manipulate it easier. But if they put in a vertical slab, it ruins the whole game. What the heck? Because I can't have vertical slabs because it's going to ruin the gameplay. But, but I can have this kind of stuff. Grumble, 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 grumble. Just an old Minecrafter grumbling into the wind. What do they call it? Shouting into the wind, I guess. Okay, now I can get some sleep and we can get back to finishing. Okay, let's get in here and finish this up. Oh, Christ. Oh, they shot each... <laughs> oh, there must have been a skeleton there. I saw that skeleton there when I came around the corner. I guess they were shooting each other. <laughs> uh, I love it when they take out each other. And I don't have to worry about it. Whew. I know I came flying around this corner and I saw that skeleton there just getting shot. So I assume there's another one there. They must have saw me wandering around out here. And taking shots at each other. That's the way it should be. Okay, so let's do... Loft. Let's see if this will work. And then... If I go to loft there, I think I can do 
I need stairs into the loft. Like that. So that would be... Yeah, so there's stairs into the loft. I need to do something about these end caps here. I think what I'll do... Oh, that's wrong. I think I've done this before. Let's, um, not the strip. Well, the strip will be coming useful. But let's make a crafting table. We'll put that down here. I think I want the crafting table here. I'm going to put a lantern there. And here and here. bunch of oops bunch of these and a bunch of these oh there we that there we go there There. Might get something I could do. Oh, I can't do that. I can do lantern there, lantern there. I'm going to leave this solid. And then that over there is going to be the same. Let's do... Yeah, so, oop. Jumpy, so jumpy. There. How'd that get there? There. That was more work than it should have been. Oh, there we go. Why do I keep falling down? That's why I keep falling down. That. Let's get rid of that. So that's three, one, two, three. Yeah, there we go. So we can do one there. Yeah. And then where is it? There. Are these stripped? No, those are just normal spruce. 
there, like that. Yeah, starting to look, starting to look pretty good. I'm gonna put some barrels around here. Like that. So this leaves room to store all my stuff. I will work on, maybe next time, think of a way to use the autocrafter. Although, do you really get enough wheat to do the autocrafter? Because I think it's the bales, hay bales, can go It's all stacked in here. Like that. And then you can stack, you know, stack them around here. Like that. There we go. The only thing I'm missing is a seed recycler. So let's see, do I have any iron? No iron, no iron. I think I saw some over here. No, I didn't. Uh, let me go find some. Okay, so let's put the seed recycler over here. So we're gonna have that there that goes into there that goes into here let's just take this and put it right there oh yeah I want oh well, see I don't know if that'll work I don't think that I don't think that'll work I think that's to go on the top we'll find out I think it's going the top though yeah, it has to go on the top. Dang it. I thought, oh, I'd have, I thought I had a nice compact design, but. This will work. So let's actually get rid of this and this. And get rid of this. So if I do. So put a barrel here. We'll put that feeds into the barrel. That feeds in there. And that feeds into there. So that should work. And really, do you ever have more than one, two, three, four, five? I mean, the only thing I could think, well, I could do this. There. Yeah, and then like that, yeah. And then if I drop the seeds in here, eventually, eventually, there we go. We got our bone meal. Okay, so then we have our seed recycler. And that does it does look pretty good. It's kind of hidden. Oh, I got so many seeds and no inventory. But then I can yeah, I can get rid of all those seeds because I don't need them. Because when I harvest all this, I will get more seeds than I need there. Seeds are almost like a two to one. Whenever you harvest anything, you get two seeds for every one you get. harvest. So let's here. Yeah, let's get rid of this, and then get rid of all, get rid of all these seeds. Cause I always end up with boxes and boxes of seeds. What did I do? I must have hit. Ooh, I must have hit a shaders reloaded. I must have hit a button. I don't have any shaders. But I'm using. I guess whatever. I'm, I must have something keyed in to uh, to reload shaders. I don't need that. 
I will have to look and get rid of that. I don't know. I was playing around with shaders uh, to see what this looked like with shaders, and it looks really foggy. I guess I'm not using the right pack, and I don't like shaders in the first place because they uh, they tend to give me a headache for some reason. And not so much at night, but during the day with those silly god rays and stuff, I they really give me, you know, just kick in like a headache. So I really avoid them if I can. So sorry, if you like shaders, you're not going to see any. I'm going to stick to somewhat vanilla, just plain, plain graphics. Let's see. There, that looks good. I don't need any doors here. Though. I will leave this crafting table here. I, will have to, I should go around and do a little bit of landscaping in the area. And some landscaping over here. I need to get rid of these chests. And I think when I put the road in here, I'll just fill all this in with wheat. And I think that should take care of, uh, should take care of that. Okay, I think we are done for the day. That is my barn. So we got one item ticked off the list. So next up, we'll start working over here on our little marketing market marketplace area. So our stalls and stuff. With fish market. I got the boat there. I don't know if the boat market should go like here, maybe. Where you can actually get down to the docks. Or maybe it should be actually down here on the docks. I will have to take uh, a thought about that. So until then, have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye bye now.